Ooh, I hope this don't look wild and crazy. Skin is glowing, baby. This is gorge. What? Oh my gosh. Hold on. All right, let's try some new products out. I've already primed my lips with the e.l.f. Lock-On Lip Primer. I know, I hate that it's gone. When I finish my stash, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna use this Say Glowy Super Skin Weightless Hydro Bounce Serum Foundation. What a mouthful, okay? I feel like I've used this before. Comment, let me know if you've seen the video. <laughs> But I got it to get in the mail and I wanna try it again, okay? So here's a new product. I've got shade 30 and 31. What is interesting about it, if you have dry skin, this will be perfect for you, is that this has 85% skin serum in it and then 15% weightless pigment. So it's definitely giving lightweight coverage. It talks about being luminous, hydrating, brightening, and plumping. I also got in it the Glowy Super Gel Star Glow. So this is giving we're glowing until eternity time. Type of makeup. Now, if you know, you know I don't like that kind of stuff, but I'm dedicated to showing y'all different things. You feel me? Was that a lot? Probably. <laughs> It comes with this brush, and my understanding is that I can mix the two together or apply it separately on the face. Let's try shade 30 and see how this looks. If you see the light going in and out, it's because of this dagger on sun, you feel me? This is shade 30, which no. Granted, I believe that this is more on the light side as far as coverage, so this might work once I blend it in, but let's try 31. And it does feel like a serum. It feels very liquidy. I'm putting it on my finger first for right now. This looks for my speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do 31. Okay, so let's put, I think I took too much of this glow thing. I think I'm taking too much in general. <laughs> I'm so annoyed in general. I used to have a spatula when I was a makeup artist and client. I don't know where that thing is at. Yo, we just going finagle it right now, you feel me? With our finger. <laughs> Ooh, this is a lot of product. This is very runny, but this is how it's supposed to be. Did I just lighten it a little bit by adding the glow product? Interesting. All right, let's see how this spreads on the face. And we're gonna use this brush that it came with. Oh, this is lovely. It does feel like a serum. It does feel like skincare. I feel like I could literally just use my hands to apply this, but you know I like doing that. It's weird because I would have never used such a brush for foundation, but I'm trying to follow the directions. This thing is dripping on my hands. I definitely took too much. The coverage is nice. Now, oh, I forgot to do my brows. I'm so annoyed. I need to clean up my brows, I forgot. Okay, now we're in action. The real test is to see how well this covers my microblading and that'll tell me how much coverage this gives. Wow, this is giving medium and depending on the level of pigmentation you have on your face, dark spots, if any, this may be full coverage on you because you know that really is the test. If you have a lot of dark spots and you wear a foundation and it covers you well, then it's full coverage for you. If you have a lot of dark spots and you try this foundation on and it's not covering you well, then it's more like a medium or a light coverage for you. I think this would look so beautiful and glowy and natural and effortless on a beach vacation or even just at your crib, you feel me? If you have dry skin, this, this whole combination, I approve. Okay, I don't have a new concealer, but I'm gonna use one that I don't use often enough. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful, what? Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So let's use this. Let me use the shade 14D, okay? I much prefer when I dip a wand into a concealer, a lot comes out right away so that I don't have to go in here 17 times. So that is annoying about this product, let me just say. If you like this concealer, comment and let me know. And let's remind ourselves what this coverage looks like because I haven't used it a lot. Oh, it's melting right into the skin beautifully. Okay, I'm having a little dilemma. I'm having an issue because you know how I always like to go dark with my foundation so that when I highlight, the highlight can pop. And then when I contour, it all comes together, blah, blah, blah. Well, this foundation matches me way too closely. Therefore, the concealer is not popping enough like I want it to. And I went over it with the KVD TM177, which normally will pop the foundation, but it's not. The contrast between the highlight and the foundation is just not that big, meaning it looks far are too natural. I want there to be a huge difference to my highlight and my foundation. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always go with light. So already I am not feeling this makeup, but we are going to push forward because we are already here. Now let's see what the contour can do because we need some definition with this face. And boy, are we looking 
dewy. I know that I used the Say bronzer in the shade D bronze, but I don't recall ever using the shade dark bronze. And this is a bronzer, obviously. Let's see how dark bronze is looking. I'm trying to think of what brush I want to use to apply it. Let me use something smaller so it doesn't make a huge mess. This is the Sephora 56 brush. And let's see what this is talking about. Okay, this is going to give me more of a contour. Okay. All right. All around the perimeter of the face. I like this brush because it's gonna get it in place and not spread it too wide because right now I want to get it in place first and then we go and blend it you feel me I am reminded that this is a great product if you are a beginner at makeup because it's forgiving in the sense that if you take too much you still have time to or space to fix it for instance I never go right into a contour this is a bronzer but it's more of a contour me a contour pan of product and then go directly to my face if you've been here then you know that but with this one I can because the pigment is not as harsh right off the rip, which is great if you are beginning, like I said, because you've got time to blend if needed. Because of the glare, I'm looking up so I can really see and make sure that this is where it needs to be. So this is a great product for beginners, like I said. Either the deep bronze, which will be more red if you have my skin tone, or this one, which is more neutral. All right, this is this is an oldie but goodie. This is the Pro Filter Powder Foundation in the shade 390. I want to highlight my highlight more. <laughs> So I'm using a highlight that'll give me color. Hey, how many times can I say highlights? Mm -mm. Okay, so we're gonna press this and make sure that there are no harsh lines. Let's just press this in one more time. Elf sponge, all products are below, by the way. So let's just get right up in here real fast, okay? Because I do have fine lines right underneath my eye and it's very normal. I'm not looking to get rid of them, but we don't wanna set the makeup well enough so that it don't be looking too crazy. And you know, if you really wanna conceal the fine lines under your eyes, do a light or dark smoky eye and bring it down underneath your eyes and bring it wide enough to cover those fine lines. I'll show you today, I'll show you today. We've been here before with the Patrick Star one size, what? <laughs> Made for shade bronze and sculpts trio. We're gonna use the middle shade cause this is very pigmented. And this Sephora 59 brush to deepen this up, you feel me? I do wish that this was not rectangular because it's hard to get this brush in here without touching some of the other colors. But it's really good. Do we or do we not see cheekbones? Hi. Now this is looking more my speed, okay? For face powder, because the foundation is not as dark as I want it to be, I'm torn cause I've got these two Bare Minerals face powder, powder foundations with me. Deep 50 warm and 60 neutral. 60 neutral will just be too dark to put on my face in its entirety right now. And then deep 50 warm is gonna be too light cause I already feel like this is too light. So I'm gonna take the two of them, you feel me? The two of them. <laughs> Woo, I hope this don't look wild and crazy. And I'm lightly going over everywhere except the contoured areas to bring it all together a little bit, you know? I don't wanna give too much coverage, but just, you know, a little a little something, you feel me? I need this contour to be deeper, deeper and deeper. I don't know what song that was. Let's go with some Amicole translucent powder on the eye area because this is a very dewy foundation. We already have established that. I don't want my eyebrows or my eyelids to look greasy. So let's do this. Yeah, it's more medium because you can still see my brow. We're gonna conceal that, so not a problem. Now we already know that I'm gonna do my eyebrows. However the hell I wanna do my eyebrows and these are, this is a Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat, <laughs> you feel me? I like for my makeup brow to look different than my <laughs> natural face microbladed brow. It's just what floats my boat and finds my lost remote. If you know, you know. Yeah, no. I used to use the NARS Amand concealer by itself to conceal under my brows, but times have changed, okay? So that's not gonna work because it's way too light. But what I like to do is mix this with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and this is the shade SX16. And by the way, are we still using Kevin Aquan? I mean, creamy, delicious, awesomeness. I feel like this was and is certainly a makeup artist type brand. There are just certain brands that are used widely by makeup artists, right, in our kits instead of by regular people who do the makeup at home. You feel me? So that's what it reminds me of. I put some of that on the back of my hand and now here's the NARS Amand Concealer. Mixing the two of these together. 
And now we have our concoction to carve beneath the brow, okay? Right here in the middle of the brow. This is actually looking more natural than I expected. This is okay, this is good. All right, right here in the middle and then we're going outward. Yeah, this is good. It's not too light and it's not too dark. And then I'm patting to bring this down. And I normally will use a brush or my finger to blend in the area under my brow, but I have been loving using the beauty sponge. Now I get why folks be doing it. It's like the same as using the finger, but the sponge is a really great option. I use the finger when my nails are, are short, like right now. This is so creamy and buttery. Here we are with the finger, just where there are harsh lines, but I mixed this so well that it matches my skin so well that it isn't that harsh, you see? If the concealer is really light, it'll be a, there'll be a stark difference between the concealer and then your base, which is your foundation, which is normally what I like. It's normally what I like, but you see how this matches so well that it really blends so nicely. I could really just leave this makeup like this, yo. A little bit of mascara, a gloss, and I could be done with it. You feel me? Like, should I do that? <laughs> Cause that's not what I like. <laughs> that is not what I like to do. You know, I like a full freaking face, okay? Ooh, blush, duh, I would need blush too. <laughs> Let's finish the face. Too many games. Okay, so all over the eyelid, I'm gonna use this Huda Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It's called Cool Matte Obsessions. I'm gonna stick with these two, the dark purple and then this one here, and we will see about the rest. First, we're gonna go with this color, right in a crease. Mind you, I have not put down an eyeshadow base. I know, horrific. I, <laughs> I normally don't do this. <laughs> I've been doing things differently these days. I normally don't do this. <laughs> but we gonna see, you know, what the payoff be looking like. I do swear by an eyeshadow base though. I was just thinking of my soft glam look where I just put it on haphazardly and because I was in that mind frame, I didn't put a, a base on, but I do like a good base, okay? So right here in the crease, we're applying this color and really, I could have gone over my whole lid with this color. This is a 414 brush that I'm gonna use right underneath my eye with this same color, giving us the smoky look, you feel me? And we're gonna bring this down underneath the eye. It's not gonna look like an eyeliner. I want Want it to be smoked out underneath the eye so that it conceals the fine lines, right? So they're not as obvious. And now let's go darker on the inside with this darker purple color. And let's not forget to go underneath the eye as well when we are smoking this out. Because the deeper it is under the eye, then you're not gonna see, again, the fine lines and the wrinkles. I have this new eyeliner from Give Beauty. This is the 24 hour gel pencil eyeliner. And I love a good gel pencil eyeliner. It normally goes on real easily. I do not like having to scrape my eyes just to get an eyeliner on. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this looks so good. To further dramatize the eye, I wanna smudge this with my MAC liner brush. Again, further concealing the line under the eye. Now granted every day you're not gonna want to do a dark smoky eye like this, but this is one of the ways I always like to go to because it works. And let's take this eyeliner above the eye. It don't need to be that perfect because we're gonna put lashes on and this is a smoky eye. So this top liner does not need to look amazing. It just needs to be there, you feel me? Okay, to highlight the inner eye, I use the Color Chalk from Milk. This is the shade Jump. It's more orangey gold. I was trying to find something more pink, pink shimmer, but I couldn't find it off like getting up. So I'm using that and then on top of it, is hopscotch, which is more silver she wow, hold on, <laughs> I took too much. More silver champagne. <laughs> I wanted to do something more pink on the inside, but here we are, okay? Just blending the two woodies together in hopes of it looking partially decent. What do you think about this? Comment, let me know. Are you still highlighting your inner, your inner eye tear duct? I remember the days we used to highlight beneath the brow. Y'all still do that? That is real old school. If you still do that, kudos to you. I'm just curious. Comment, let me know. I don't do it anymore. I have not done that in five years. Maybe more. <laughs> it could still be a look. The skin is glowing. Do you see this? The skin is glowing, baby. I already had this Amicole mascara, so let's use this on the eyes. I wanted to use a new one, but because my eyes are so dark, you're not gonna see the color pay off, and that just wouldn't be fair to the product or to you, so I'm not gonna use a new mascara today in a different video. I always apply mascara before. I apply my lashes, honey. It helps it to stick together and blend better, you know? I don't do it afterward. I don't wanna clump up the lashes too much, you know? 
We got a new blush, honey, from House Labs. And I'm excited to try this because the color is electric, okay? It is so beautiful. This is the shade Watermelon Bliss. Now, I'm choosing this one because it'll complement the crease color on my eyeshadow beautifully. And here with my MAC blush brush, let's take some of this product and let's start. Ooh, very pigmented. And if you don't already know, blushes are simply eyeshadows in a bigger compact and usually with more pigment too. Oh, this looks gorgeous. I did not even need two swipes. This looks beautiful. Comment and let me know what you think about it. Tapping off some product on my paper towel in front of me because it is so pigmented that I don't wanna take too much. This is gorge, what? I've been seeing this all over the social and I just knew it had to be good. And finally, I've tried it out. Lashes and bottom mascara is on. Lawless one done. All links are below. This blush looks gorge. I love it. Now for the lip, I got a whole bunch of lippies. I don't even know where to begin. You feel me? I got, let's see. I got this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper. Let's try this. It better not start burning me. I don't like that. I like the color. <gasps> I forgot to highlight my the upper part of my lip. Who does that? Oh my God, hold on. Rare Beauty pressed highlighter. Cause I'm doing my lip and I'm like, mm -mm, something is missing. This, this is missing and this is missing. Yes, ma'am. Now we are in action, okay? All right, and this is the shade Espresso Shot. This is going on very creamy. I like this. And here's the LYS lipstick in the shade Sincere. I love how this looks like a leather. It's so cute. I love it. I love how this look came out. I like the balance of the purple and then the watermelon and then the light pink, you know, it just all comes together. Comment, let me know if you love it. I'm gonna link two videos here for you to choose from to watch after this one. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.